Stay up to date with what's happening in North Central Washington. Go to the NCW Life community calendar at ncwlife.com. Last night I was doing my um, last minute practicing and realizing I wasn't gonna get this song done by Thursday. So I pulled out my chord buddy and started practicing with it and gave a call to Travis at chord buddy this morning for some help and here we are. So thank you for yeah. coming on. So that's why that's what I do every day is I, I hopefully uh, get people like you that are trying to uh, play guitar and uh, and hopefully I can help. Okay, so just so people know, this mechanism isn't in place of learning guitar, it helps you learn guitar. I am using Training it, wheel, so to speak. Right, I am using it to um, get myself out of a bind, and then I will use it to learn to play the guitar. Um, uh, you guys have all of, kinds uh, of great tutorials on YouTube and all that, so people who have this, and you were on Shark Tank, that's, is that, Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, well, I invented this for my daughter uh, because she was having trouble learning and I played guitar all my life. And actually when I was 18, I, I taught guitar. Uh, and after about two months of teaching, uh, I went to the guy that owned the store and I said, I, I'm gonna quit. And he said, why, why are you gonna quit teaching? I said, well, I stink at it. I, you know, uh, half of my students have quit. And he said, uh, he laughed actually. He says, Travis, he said, that's just the way it is. He said, right. all these kids want to be rock stars and they get a guitar for Christmas or birthday and it hurts their fingers or they, they can't do it, you know, and, and they just give up. And I said, man, what if there was some magic gizmo you could just put on the guitar and press a button and it, and it plays a perfect chord or they can press a button and play Sweet Home Alabama, you know. Mm -hmm. And he says, man, whoever invents that a check <laughs> learn guitar. And uh, so I, I literally did nothing with it for 30 years. Wow. 30 years. And my daughter, Brady, who at that time was eight, was trying to learn a song. And uh, I told her the idea. She said, oh, it hurts my fingers. I can't do it. And I told her, I said, Brady, when I was 18, I had an idea for a magic gizmo. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, will you make me one? So we went home that night and we ate two fudge sickles, took the, 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 uh, the stick out of it, uh, you know, the, the popsicle yeah. stick, and I made a G, which is the blue one, uh, uh -huh. with that and some rubber grommet. Grommet is what you uh, put, if you're re-screening a window, that's what holds the screen in. Okay? Right. It worked perfect. I mean, literally, I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I mean, she pressed it. She went, ah, oh, daddy, I did it. She said, you've invented Guitar Hero for the real guitar. <laughs> and I said, okay, yeah, I guess so. And so uh, I got thinking, wow, she went from desperation to inspiration like that. Right. And, I, and I said, wow, maybe, maybe uh, other kids could learn with this. So uh, that was in 08. In 010, we went on the market, took two years to design it, you know, get all the learning material. Yeah, packages. people don't realize how much goes into that. Uh, oh, it, I mean. That's, that's, the, that's where a lot of people quit. Oh yeah, well the product's only one part of the puzzle. You know, so you got that, then you've got the lesson material. You've got, I had to make a DVD, I had to come up with songs, I had to do all of that. I mean, so, you know, it was overwhelming, but we did it. And then I went on Shark Tank in 12, and it just, zoom. I mean, cause, you know, statistically nine out of 10 people wish they could pick up the guitar and play something musical rather than, right. you know, than that, you know. So in for $49.95, not that I'm doing an ad in, I'm just stating the yeah. fact, $49.95, you can, you can put this on your guitar and you can play your trigger song or the song you've always wanted to play. So, I mean, in two years, we had sold 3,000. Overnight, we sold 12,000. Wow. With it. Well, thank you. Oh, gosh. With all your help, I've taken up half your morning. <laughs> no, I, this is what I do. I, I, this is what I do. This is what my passion is, is working with people just like you. And, and listen, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for your, for your tour. <laughs> Thanks. Doing. 
Yeah. And uh, I, I, I will stay in touch with you. I want to know how it's going. You know, you're uh, so great. how do people get uh, the Cord Buddy? Uh, our website, you can order direct from us, which is chordbuddy.com, C-H-O-R-D, buddy. Guitar centers carry them, a lot of mom and pops. You can order it from Amazon. We have numerous uh, third-party vendors uh, that are that sell it. But you can just come straight to the source, come to chordbuddy.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time, Travis. Lisa, it's been my pleasure. Is your vehicle in need of a quick oil change or tune-up before hitting the road this summer? Stop by Quick Lube and Tune, the home of the good guys at 610 South Wenatchee Avenue. We can repeat that or I can just go right into the next verse. All of these lines across my face Tell me the story of who I am What are you doing? So many stories I was made for you What do you do when you get lost? What do you do when you <laughs> get lost? But you had you, you had it better. It was better. Yeah, it started off really awesome. I'm just clipping that first okay. part. He was like, "You're totally killing it." <laughs> All right. Hi everyone. I traveled about 1,100 miles to get here, and I've got about 3,000 miles to go. Um, that's my car out there, all wrapped up nice and tight from Town Toyota where I live. They sponsored this whole trip. Uh, there's a video playing up above. We don't have sound for it, but I'll just give you a summation. But um, I had a lot of hard stuff happen to me early in my life, and I learned some quick lessons about what's important and to not wait to do the things we want to do in our lives that bring us fulfillment. I call the nouns in life, the people, places, things, and ideas we give up on along the way sometimes because we get too tired or too broke or too sad or too comfortable, too scared, too, too, too anything, right? And so um, I wrote a book about seven years ago about the loss of my husband, and I started the Don't Wait Project because I wanted people to learn from what we've been through and benefit from, from the plight of others. So uh, my kid left for college in the fall, and it's just been he and I for a really long time, so I kind of had to come up with a plan B. And I was supposed to leave in the fall, and I wasn't quite ready because I was crying a lot still. <laughs> so I missed him so much. Still miss him, but I'm doing better. And I gotta tell you, I've been on national television, I host a radio show and a TV show. I've talked in front of hundreds, maybe thousands of people, and I've never been more nervous than I am at this moment right now. <laughs> Brutal. Val is going to water down her talent a lot so that I can play this song with this. It's a capo song, we're not using a capo. But when you hear this song, I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but it is um, really, I think it's intended to be like a love story, husband, wife, significant other. And uh, I, I thought of it the first time I heard it. I think I heard it, geez, I don't know how many years ago. And all I thought about was my kid because he is my most significant other. So um, the song is called The Story. And I'm gonna give it my best shot. So, cheer really loud and we're done because this is all over the whole place. I've been telling everyone I'm coming here. No matter how I do, be kind. Okay. <laughs>
Are you wanting high-speed internet but don't have access to PUD Fiber? Try SkyFi high-speed wireless internet from Localtel. Call 888-8888 today. There's a lot of talent already here. We walked into a community with a lot of talent. It just takes people that are willing to take these risks. I think that's it exactly. People who are willing to, to put their own lives on the line to, for the betterment of the community, I think, is what changes the world. And you guys have, have done that. And what is your name? Eliam. And where are you from? I live here in Douglas City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what do you think of this Yantra place? Oh, I love it. I, what yeah, do you love about it? i become good friends with Valerie and Christian. Um, it's hard to find people to fix your instruments out here. I gotta drive hundreds of miles to get somebody to do the work that he does for half the price. He's a talent for sure. Yeah, and I love it because it's brought out a lot of different people, artists and musicians I didn't know were here. So it's nice to meet new people, and, you know, have different people to meet, hear new songs and new sounds every week. It's really cool. What was it about the life you had before? that you wanted to change? What brought you here? What was the real catalyst for you? The catalyst was probably um, a comfort zone, um, which is backed right up to a wall, right? So you have comfort, you have good job, you have nice house, you have great community, um, but you have, it's backed right up to a wall. And so, you have to stay in that comfort zone to stay where you're at doing the same thing over and over, year to year. And we've done that for like 10 years. And we just decided that you know, our kids were gone out of the house, they're doing their own thing. And we said, what do we wanna do now? And we decided, well, we wanna go do some other things and figure out what that is. And it's a huge risk and we took it and we're still figuring things out, you know. We're not in the comfort zone, but, but that's okay because we yeah. don't have a wall anymore. Yeah. We don't have the comfort zone. We don't even have a house, you know, <laughs> yet. But, but we don't need that stuff at this point because that's exactly what we just left. So do you guys play an instrument? Yeah, what do yeah. You guys do? we both play guitar. Yeah. Yeah, we moved up here with a band and we were going to be street performers. You move up here with a band and what? We were going to be street performers. We uh, moved up here to save money to go street performing. Oh, and how's that working out? It's been years and yeah, we it's don't been do it years. I moved back. I moved back home and then came back since then. So. Yeah. We just liked it so much we stayed. You liked it so much in Weaverville. Cool. So what what kind of music you guys play? Acoustic, everything. Yeah, I don't know. Do covers of like you know old rock stuff, like yeah. old like, you know, Neil Young. I do a little Elton John, but we also were songwriters as well. I mean, if you can call it that. So, what do you think about Yonter being here and the opportunities it has for you guys to play? It provides for you guys to play. It's great. Yeah, we're both stoked about it. Uh, right when I found out about it, we've been trying to come here. So, it's, what if they had more than one open mic night? You mean like a week? Yeah. I, I, don't, I mean, it would be oh, awesome. Yeah. It would be awesome. So you know their story? You know how they left where they were working in Bend and no. Christian had a job he didn't love and no, Val was no, wanting to teach that. and work in the school district? No. So they sold everything and moved here. Started this place. Me. For you fine people. That's, that's kind of what we did when we moved up here too. Yeah. <laughs> Except we didn't. Do something as awesome as the Yonkers. Yeah, we didn't sell anything, you know, we gave it all away. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. It's cool that a lot of people are doing stuff like that, though. Yeah. I mean, it's for so long, it just seemed like everybody was pretty much decided they were just going to work until they died doing stuff they hated. Sure. So, I mean, people selling all their downsizing and then. Can you cuss? Yeah, I can bleep you out. It's okay. <laughs> just do Sorry. you. It's fine. Yeah, well, people are, you know, downsizing and saving up money, coming and pursuing their passion. It's pretty sweet. I think the term don't wait, you know, just getting out and doing something, um, especially if you're trying to do something as an entrepreneur, as an owner, as, as a risk taker, each night you go out 
you're you're putting your mindset into the I'm gonna do this tonight and um, you know you don't worry about the outcome so much yeah you do want to plan you do you like to see things improving however with the way Christian and I approached it was um, you know each step we took was one little step farther towards where we're at now and if we didn't take all the little steps which we thought were really little and when other people talked to us about it it was like you know it was like you guys are crazy you know we had a lot of different feedback it's it's the risk but it's also it's calculated a bit yes because you, you calculated it by selling your house and moving here and saying okay bought an RV that's where we're living I mean that was the yeah, first step really the RV was like our, was we have like the space that we can call our own that was where we started with that and while we were clearing out our house for selling it we started getting used to being in the RV and adjusting our lifestyle from a three-bedroom house two bath upstairs downstairs a big backyard to the RV so you get to leave that kind of confined space and go, okay, this is what we came for. I mean, it's a beautiful space. You made it that way. I mean, that's the thing that brought me here is I saw the pictures and the tear down and the rebuild of just, let, aside from your yeah, lives, yes. but the, <laughs> the, the actual building, the structure, I mean, that's metaphorical, really. You have to have that same, take that same fear, that same energy, like on, before you go on stage, and throw it into your life and take that same energy and then create the motion every day, create a motion of where you want to use that energy. Um, because you're going to be scared no matter what. You know, I don't care who you are. Um, you know, it's just different. There's different ways of transmuting that energy. So it's not a whole lot different from going on stage. Uh, life is a stage. Every day is a stage. We're all in our own performance so you can take that fearful energy which a lot of people do and, and do destructive things um, to yourself or you can say today I'm gonna go get those wheels turning and see what what today is gonna bring what can I do today you know it's it's not a I've got it all figured out plan it's what can I do today to make this life plan this life performance work. Couldn't you know? agree more. We, we, we put our heart and soul into our business every day and you know we're scared to death minute to minute but somehow we're, we're able to overcome and the reward is is our community prospers and we, we grow together and, and uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, having you know the ability to um, to express yourself and have a place to go where you can do your art or create and, and not feel like that's not okay. These days there's so much of that energy. If it doesn't mean the almighty dollar or the almighty, I'm going to be a star in two seconds, you know, by going on a show or whatever it is, it's like people don't really um, look at things like that anymore as important. And really, the masses have that spark in them. And so if you if communities embrace that more, instead of the, you can just be that one star in the sky that has some light to it, if you embrace everybody's energy and light, you're gonna have a lot more happy people right around you. Um, and it's, that's, you know, that's kind of what we're doing That's here. Our goal. What a richer, more vibrant world we'll live in if everybody if has an outlet to share their, their art. Right? You know, right. wouldn't it be wonderful? Right. Thank you. Okay, so this next song is called Fluorescent Lights, and I wrote this one too. Yes. 
slim fingers interlaced with mine I'm here holding you tight Sitting here in fluorescent lights Oh, you and I We have to work Coming from, they might not know what it means to feel this love so strongly. And I, let's make you work. Have a fun video you'd like to see featured on NCW Life? Email us at newsphotos at ncwlife.com.